New York at the time, like especially then, like the early 80s, it was like Disneyland in hell. You know, like every fucking corner there was a fucking hustle. You know, 50 cents, you could see three pornos in a kung fu movie. The city was fucking nuts. But um, I fucking loved it. Siv called me and said, I think we're gonna do it. I think Judge is gonna get back together for a show. Call Mike and tell him, tell him like how important this is and why it needs to happen. You know, there's bands that get back together, you know, or just do one show for a big, you know, nut of money or something like that. But if he was gonna do it, he was gonna do it kind of on his terms. And if he didn't feel right about doing it again, that wasn't gonna happen. I mean, we literally worked on it for two years. And everybody who was on board with it knew like, it had to be perfect. Like, you know, it's a delicate, delicate thing. So you, we were really trying not to fuck anything up. It's like Voltron, all these parts come together and you have Judge, but separately it's not gonna work. I always kind of put it out there that, hey, if, they, you know, if anyone wants to do it, I am in. You know, because I really enjoyed playing those songs. You know, so I just kind of threw it out there. Hey, I would love to play those songs again. And you know, the songs actually meant a lot to me. And it was very, very cool. I remember that very first practice we played, it sort of really gelled. And uh, it really came together. And it, was, and it was great. It sounded like Judge. I hadn't seen him for whatever, like 20 years, you know, when, you know, before Judge got back together. It was like the day of that first practice, we were still like, you know, when you're friends, you can go 20 years and then, you know, it's like you catch up and just, you know, you haven't missed a day, practically. I got to the door and the, the doorman wouldn't let me in. And that one guy that worked at, um, uh, uh, he's has Wawa Hut with Reggie, that biker dude, he was working and dude, he literally got me and he pulled me into the door like seconds before those guys were just gonna rip me back out in the street, like a half a second. I and I would have just been, they would have grabbed me in the street wow, and like beat me down and again. Yeah. It was crazy. I walked out there with like all the sick Vidal guys, Gavin. I had like a posse of like 30 people, but they weren't there. Yeah, it's really wild. This guy's always like turn down this like really John for Lane. I know. You remember that? I did That's right, there it is, right there. The almighty George headlining this year's Black and Blue. Yeah, boy. 2013. Webster Hall, the old Brits. It's going to be bananas like you've never imagined in your life. They had us headlining. And you know, here's Judge, you know, back, you know, back in the day we weren't a big band. You know, we play a show, if, you know, if there was 300 kids at the show, that was huge. I mean, normally it'd be between 50 and 100 kids. And when that show sold out almost immediately, I was like, I couldn't believe it. You know, the pressure was really on Mike. Um, he's got the hardest job. He's out in front, and he's the personality that everybody, you know, looks to. Um, I just get to jump around and have a good time. You know, when you're the front man in a band and you have to take that responsibility on yourself, it's, especially if you have like a fear of success, or if you're a failure, whichever way you want to look at it, I mean, it's the same thing. You know, you're, you're going to be nervous about that. I've always had like this incredible amount of like stage fright, you know? I just knew that I was going to have to face that thing of being in front of a crowd, but I always had to do that. When we got there, I remember looking out the window and I was like, wow, you know, there's a lot of people here. No big deal. It's just it's a lot of people, though. And the fucking judges' fucking height never played in front of a quarter of those people, you know? This is like a definite fucking, do not fall on your face here, man. And then the lights went out and our intro started playing. The guys just put on their guitars and shit. They start feedbacking their guitars and, and then people are already like jumping on the stage and like diving off without the music even playing. But once the click, click, click and of Take Me Away and then the lights and it worked and everybody was happy. It was 
pretty fucking wild, man. There were like people flying everywhere. The first line was, I was thinking of it all. And it, it was like a perfect way to start it all over, man. Yo. Everything that happened, I was thinking of it all. Once again, I'll be it all. We can't get through one I fall. Just believe it, it was my luck. Just believe it, no I couldn't judge. Just to get Mike back out on stage and like where he belongs. I don't know, it's like some kind of joy where you see like what you imagine it to be and it became better. It was this scene that saved my life when I was a little fucked up punk rock kid who didn't fit in anywhere in my hometown. This is for everybody, because I love this fucking city, and I love this fucking scene. Anthony Civarelli, he's gonna sing it with me. Anthony? New York, I'm gonna help with this one if you don't mind. You know, part of the joy for me of doing Judge Now is, A, being able to play these songs because you know, I think you've talked to a lot of people from that scene I and mean, that was one of the most important times and one of the best times of all of our lives. It's rare that you get a chance to kind of get that stuff back and I think we all appreciate it you know, more than ever. I was just hoping that I would, could be there and, and, and see it. You know, I knew I would be and like now you're telling me that I'm going to be like part of it. I was just totally super honored and like, I mean, to play those songs, it's, I mean, it, it meant a lot to me back then and it means a lot to me now. What we all enjoy about Judge would not have existed in any way were it not for Mike. To me, he's a guy who had an incredible amount of courage to step out of the circumstances that he was in, which were very difficult, and to make a life that is purely his own. And I think he opened up a lot of doors for a lot of people. When you're right next to a building and you're looking up, you can't really tell how big it is until you kind of step away from the building and you're just like, damn, that building's you know, pretty big. You know, so when you do a band like that, sometimes it takes a few years down the road to actually realize you know, the impact that the band had. You know, sometimes it takes like 20 years and you look back and you're just like, you know, damn, you know. Some of these bands that I did when I was a freaking kid sort of had an impact. And instead of feeling pride, I actually feel humility from it. You know, sometimes, you know, when you see, you know, kids influenced even like to this day. You know, and really that's what we set out to do in the first place, you know, to kind of make a difference. And we were so influenced and so changed by music that we wanted to do bands that, that affected other people. And, um, you know, we actually did it. It's awesome. I never pictured myself being able to write words like, and like I was gonna be that guy. Like, maybe fucking being there for like, some kid just like me, you know? Like, I guess at such like an er young age, I was, it was always drilled in, into me that I really ain't got nothing to say and anything I do say, nobody wants to listen to. So, I think uh, that kind of shit is just hard to shake, no matter how big the crowd gets, or uh, how loud they sing along and shit. I'm still like the, I'm still that fucking little kid in the room playing air guitar, hoping that someone wants to listen. <laughs> I've always loved Judge.
it was the thing that hurt the most when I thought I let it down. I'm happy I could come back and make amends with it. It's just a cool band. I'm happy to be a part.